Welcome to Satisfactory Update 3. My name is Niklaus and this is the start of a brand new, let's say, long play version of a Let's Play here on YouTube. So my uh, intention for this is, uh, since there is a brand new update of Satisfactory uh, just released as of yesterday, we're going to go into a bit of detail about uh, what, that, what that includes and then we're going to dive into a brand new playthrough. Now this will be a playthrough of sort of the character that I usually do. That means no off-camera work and no editing. Now that means that I need to be focused on building efficiently, effective. That's kind of what I like to do. But it also means that at some point, because of the nature of Satisfactory, it will it can easily become a bit of a grind. So do not expect that this series is going all the way through to the very end of the end game. Unless, of course, there is a continued demand for it. So, uh, that means, as this is the first episode of a new Let's Play, I am hoping that you will help me out by liking, sharing, subscribing, all of that good stuff that uh, I should say as a YouTube content creator. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at update 3. We're not going to do it too much, but uh, for anyone who hasn't played Satisfactory in a while, then let's just see about it. So, basically, the, the key parts... Um, in this release, there are a lot of small things as well, and we go through these as well. Pipes, that means there are now liquids in the game. That's very exciting, but not something that comes up early game. There is a resource sink. Basically, this was very much requested, like Infinite Science and Factorio, so that you can produce or get stuff by, uh, by, by delivering excess materials. That means you can keep the entire base flowing instead of just filling up more and more boxes of turbo motors or the lights. Um, new ways of traveling, also very late game. Hyper tubes looks really awesome. Then there's a new area, Dune Desert. We are going to start there. It looks amazing, but it's a bit more difficult than the other starting because there's a lot of. Uh, but it looks so good that we want to do it. And there may be some bugs and stuff, but we'll uh, work around that. Now there's another option here. I don't know if that's just completely new, but this one is uh, enabled skip of the onboarding process. Now, you know what? I can't really uh, justify doing that because I think this game has one of the absolute best introductions. YouTube update three. There we go. That's what it's called. And we're going to put it in an experimental area. A harsh starting point with large open spaces, vast distances, and very contained footage locations. It's It just looks so good that we just have to do it. Uh, I want to play through the entire tutorial part of the game because I absolutely love it. So let's uh, let's do that. And now I think without further ado, let's dive in. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. That's actually interesting. Morning. Planet <clears throat> fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. She's very chatty, aren't you? Isn't she? Though? But let's uh, come back to that. She is very chatty in the beginning, so we're just going to let her talk the way through, and then uh, we can we can take over. Now that little intro is a bit, bit old-fashioned, bit dated compared to the rest of the game. It seems a bit weird. It has a bit of a Fallout vibe, which isn't really kind of where Satisfactory has moved. There we go. Brand new area. Nice, beautiful orange desert. Planet 
Redfall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. There we go. I don't know where they get the stickers from. There's stickers everywhere. <sighs> Welcome to Akuja Sector. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akuja. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Thank you. Note, <clears throat> objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. And right, she's talking again. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Can I say Note, something that no, fix not it yet. incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. And now the berry nuts. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R and D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Ooh, all right, my turn. Look at this beautiful place. So maybe you saw already one of the first new things. Well, the planet here or this area is beautiful. Also, if you run and hit C, C is now crouching. I wonder if you can sneak. We're going to sneak. Um, you can slide, which is pretty awesome downhill. And the best part about it, I mean, aside from looking awesome, you can also slide underneath belt, which Second is pretty objective. cool. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. That's why we have the poker. All right, so now we need to scan. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. 109? 180. Okay, so let's go this way because it's closer to that over there. Am I running now? No. Toggle run. There we go. Press V to find resources. We are heading towards these resources right there. And this is copper. We don't need much. Ooh, look at that. All the way over there, we have some. This is pretty cool as well. Something that I've also noticed um, in my tiny bit of playing in this one is that there are a lot more of these outcroppings, which is really cool because they were very rare. Uh, that's not it. Okay, we don't need to do that yet. Where's the... I don't know if it's better to do this, but it's certainly more fun to slide. All right, we will rock you. <clears throat> Let's chop down some of this. She's talking again. Objective: Build the hub. Note: To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution: Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do Ooh, so will hello. likely result in non-optimal progress. Pigment could be harvested from there these flower petals and turned into dye. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Right, so we need to place our hub on flat the terrain. This creature Let's put it up here. Light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Yeah, so they talk about the MAM. Um, if I build it on top, then I'm going to have a difficulty jumping up onto it. So that's actually not great. Those are kind of fearsome without... It. So maybe we'll build it down here. This looks like somewhat of a plain area that we can make our hub. Let's make the hub. And this seems like a great place. Let's make sure that I get in from the right side. I think that's the one, yeah. Hmm... Like that. Let's do it. That's our hub. We built the hub and we have built the first little tiny thing. Let's look at the different locations. You have unlocked hub feature, manual craft bench. 
Hub Feature, Hub Terminal. Fifth Objective, Complete Hub Upgrade 1. Note, the Craft Bench and Hub Terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. All right, thank you. So already here, you can see the new thing here. This one says relevant items. So when you click on things, you can see the relevant items. That's pretty damn nice. Because when you have a bigger inventory, it gets a bit convoluted. Hub upgrade one. Tell these, we select. Now we've got 10 of these. I go to our hub upgrade and insert it with a shift command. Shift and click, then we insert it. Already got the first update, just like that. Congratulations, you have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade two. Note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Yeah, <clears throat> we need to farm a bit back here, it's okay. So we first we need to build the craft, what is it called? The equipment workshop, yes. <clears throat> the equipment workshop, once we have that, we can start building the miners. I wanna take these out, just not because they're necessary, but because they're kind of in the way. And we have so little biomass in this uh, domain here. So anything we can get, we will definitely do it. So this is an impure. We'll just chop a bit here. I don't exactly know how much we want, but let's go to Ah, oh, it's one at a time. Let's just go to 40 then. Patience is out. And we can, oops, we can see this and slide. That's gonna be awesome, just sliding in there. Whoa, that's gonna be good to jump. And this one. So the first thing we want to do is build five. We'll do this like that and go here, build an equipment workshop. I always build it like this, but I think we'll actually build it slightly different this time. Yeah. All right, here. Uh, that's not good. I'm, I'm falling down here. Ah, never mind. So this is where we make a portable miner. Let's see, how is it I add to to-do list? Just want to get a sense of how much we want. Because we need portable miners. <clears throat> we don't need to craft all of this. I think we need to just make two portable miners to put them over on the iron place. And that means I need... See, iron plates has also been redone. So it takes three and outputs two. Instead of previously, it was taking two in and outputting one. There. That's three of those. Continue smashing these. Well, you know what? We're going to have to do all of this anyway. And I want three of them. <clears throat> ding, 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 ding. This one seems to be just ever so slightly faster than it used to be, which is nice. And get more of this. We should also look at what the hub upgrade is uh, next up upgrade. This hub upgrade too, which gives us smelters and power lines, cables, and it needs just a bit of, bit of different stuff. Slide. Yeah. So we go in to our inventory. Oh man, I forgot. Hey, the big uh, jumpy dude. Of course I have to go to this location to build three of these. Honestly, three? Three is too much. And slide. Jump. And get that one in. Put it in. And the next one there. Right, so they're good. We'll switch back to this one. Uh, let's run over here. I think there's something there, but we don't want to aggro those little bees. We want some of those because we might see that one. Oh, look at that! Crazy! Look how close those new technologies that, that one. can be developed based on this new superconductive gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. 
Yeah, this is a <laughs> this is a difficult spot if, if you already have those spitters out there. Okay, so let's go grab some of the iron. We've been these two have been stacking up uh, there. Grab it, grab it, and go back. That was 31. 31 should be enough. It's close though. Alright, let's see. I also have a. <clears throat> this should be enough. Alright, so now we need to do the next hop upgrade so we can at least get one smelter, which would be nice. How much? How much? How much? We'll just make all of this. That's that's going to be a, a good starting point. We always can need more plates and more rods. There. I need that one. And the next one I need rods. Let's make sure we get all of this first. There go. And I'm going to put my uh, Caterium ore. And also that one, that one, that one. Because we don't need it. And put it in with a shift click and boom, hop grab grade 2 is now unlocked. So I'm trying to be somewhat efficient, but not like complete rushing it. What the hell is that? Is that the shadow? Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner. Scanner huh. feature Weird. hopper. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective. Complete hub upgrade 3. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so at this point, what we need to do is make two more uh, of the smelter, uh, so what are they called? They're called that one, <clears throat> two more of these. So we now need to find the copper location. I hope it's not too far away, but I'm pretty sure it is literally too far away. And I have to press V and boom. Come on, give us something. Oh, that's a long, long time. All right, 200, 200 kilometers, uh, 200 meters, not kilometers. Ooh, that's gonna be something, one hell of a trek. And there'll probably also be some kind of biters out there to defend it. There's always biters defending these and slide. Slide. We want to get all of this, and this is sulfur. That's nice. Again, this is this really is cool that you can find this. Sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the map. Volatile self-defense mechanisms. I like it. We know what that is. All right. So here we are. We, okay, we got one. Got one. Yeah. No lock on. Come on. And that's how you do that, my friends. Easy peasy. You just, you aggro them, you run back, and then you jump over them. And here we go, the copper. Just get that copper out, and then we can... Actually, we technically don't need this. There, and I will take uh, that one in. Plop it down. That one, plop it down, and that one. And they already start working even... Alright, so, I love this little animation here, and that's, I don't know how much I already got before, oops, that's, this is what happens when you're in a hurry, there, yeah. good, that's gonna be fine, let's go back. That one's also protected. This looks like another copper location, so that's nice. But it's protected by a... That is a spitter. They are eh, not friendly. You slide pretty well downhill, but not so well uphill. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Jump. And slide. And jump. Okay, so we need to get 20 of this part for the next hop upgrade. We're just going through all the hop upgrades as pretty much as fast as we can, just to make sure that we uh, we unlock all of the mechanisms we get. And uh, we're actually not going for the next hop upgrade. We're going for the smelting thing. And the smelting thing required just a few cables. 
You can see out here on the right hand side, I highlighted. Uh, let's get this one. It needed some wire, but it's also going to need a few cables for the uh, piping and also some iron ingots so we can build the rods. And there we go. Good, so now we can build this first smelter. Let's get a tiny bit of that biomass we have. We just don't have a lot of biomass. So this is our biomass burner. We can put 75 in here. And let's build our smelter. I think we want the smelter at position 4. Uh, rotate around like this. <clears throat> and connect it power line. Like so. Of course not. Here, we don't clip, so you know it's the wrong way. Uh, hold on, that's not it. I want to change recipe to iron. I think iron is just way more valuable. And look at that. We have now 20 megawatts here. And we're consuming a lot of that. And that's going to be running out really soon. So we need to figure out a way to get more. Uh, we can do the milestone while we're at it. Let's just uh, go through the milestone. <clears throat> and then by the time we've done this, we can put the 64 cop 64 iron ore back in the machine and take out whatever we got in there to make what we need. And then I think we have to sort of uh, consider what to do with regards to power. Hmm. Because that's certainly going to be an issue. We do have a location nearby where we do have see some greenery. And that means we need to go out and farm it and come back. But it's uh, there are also different more biters out there, I'm sure. If it's just the normal biters, it's not a problem. We could also like to get a slug or two, that would be nice. All right, so once we got this one sorted, I will... I think that might be this time. Yes, like this. And go, 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 go. Yeah. Uh, can I put this in? Not really. But we can then continue on the crafting bench making this part. There's no reason not to always make it into wire. Whether you keep, you don't make all of it into cable, but making it into wire is a good idea. We want to make sure that we can put the last 27 iron in there. So that's why we are just chugging along on this one. Also, I don't think we do not have enough iron currently to build to hit the milestone anyway. So we are going to need a bit more. And that's it. Didn't I also have some? No, I didn't. Good. Over here. Oops. That goes in. Oh, come on. I thought it would be working. There one. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Good. Take it. And over here, let's take. Now we can do the plates. <clears throat> we need 20 plates and 20 rods. So by the time we get... There we go. And rods. Also 20 of that. And then we can hit the next milestone. Which is probably going to be what we can achieve at this moment in time. Boom, boom, boom. Hit the milestone. Let's see what we get. Congratulations, you have unlocked scanner feature, limestone, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu limestone. and craft Screw bench, respectively. Just... That's a lot of things here. Objective, complete hub upgrade for, note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. <clears throat> so now we can actually build a bit bigger. And in order for us to build bigger, we are going to have to make sure that we can actually support it with some power and that means I need to I think I want to go over here that one is not friendly and that one is not friendly it's just nothing friendly about this I don't think I can take this one out I'm gonna give it a shot though there is just one I'm gonna give it a shot Ow. And it just takes. Oh. Hey, we got it. Nice. That was actually way simpler than I thought. 
We're just gonna get some fuel and then we are, we'll head back. And that should be completing of this uh, first episode. So let's just get all of these strawberries and hope that there's something better over here. Hopefully some wood as well. Oh, there's a pillberry. Uh, this is not great. There's no wood. This is just leaves. And leaves just don't last very long. I was hoping there would be some reeds or some roots in the... Yeah, what? Oh, it doesn't say anything now. These don't have no sound when they're being picked up. Also interesting that the pale berries did not have an... Have anything... Oh, a floating be bacon. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, this is not a great place because there are no roots. I was really hoping we would get some roots because they roots contain wood and wood is just so much better than leaves for biomass but beggars can't be choosers we wanted this beautiful location and we have it but uh, it's certainly also more challenging in terms of this uh do we got an, anything oh yeah, yeah it's a pale berry we can barely see anything anymore right, let's just go a bit closer here let's just see if there's how much what oh I did not recognize that sound. I don't think it's the big dude that said it. He's harmless though. Okay, just get everything. Get everything. That's a nighttime foraging. Uh, flashlight. I forgot it. I forgot there was a flashlight in the game. That's so cool. Nice. That'll just help a bit. Make it. Oh, it's that dude that made me. Ah, okay, okay. Still absolutely no, no, what, oh, I hear you, I hear you, okay, I guess we have to take you out. Come on, come again. It's nice, they actually also uh, contain a lot of biomass, the shells. Let's take this one, oh, we get our first slug, that's nice. Let's get a green power slug. I wanted to get a green power slug. Yay! Okay, let's get this one. Seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the map. That should be it. Let's head back to our beautiful little teeny tiny base with uh, a lot of leaves in our pocket. Right, we can almost see it, can we? How much we got? 800 leaves? That's really not much. We see it. I guess what we should be doing is going to our copper as well, because we could pick up the copper while we're out here. We can pick up the copper, but then not pick up the iron. Yeah, you can't have it all. It should be over this ridge. Yep, it is. That one. That one and this. So in the next episode, we're going to find some concrete or some limestone. Get that sorted. Move it back. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very first look in this uh, new location with a new update. So for now, not so many things are new and exotic sliding. New starting location. That's exciting as well, I think. And I'm just going to kill that one. There, so we can get more going back. And that's a great place to wrap up as we are back to our little hub. Good, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, stay effective.